Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about the basics. And we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of um, strawberries, freezing strawberries and a basic, real easy freezer jam recipe. And this is Mary Malvitz. Um, been growing strawberries for how long, Mary? Um, 22 years. Wow, just a little bit. <laughs> a little uh, while. A little you kind of know your stuff. Where is your farm? Um, we're located in Door County. We're halfway between Sturgeon Bay and Brussels, right on County C. And Mary's such a sweetie. Um, she every year emails me, do you need strawberries for any of your recipes? This year, it, the email came a little bit later um, with this darn weather, huh? Yeah. Yes, it were a little late, and if you'd average all the years, where this is maybe the average starting time. Oh, okay. But our weather has been so unseasonable that we're used to an early season now. Okay, true, very true. A lot so. of times we start earlier than most, and we're done or finishing up around the 4th of July, and a lot are just starting. So you guys are just, just starting now? Yes, we've picked two days. They're home picking today in the patch as I'm down here. <laughs> uh, so you can pick your own there, or you'll have them picked for you? We have both. Okay, And that's our nice. pick your own are only in the morning though. Okay, what time? 7 to 11 and it's seven days a week. Oh, how fun is that? And if you don't feel like picking and you don't feel, oh, here they are on the farm um, and the whole clan, and I understand your daughter just got engaged in the strawberry patch. We had a very exciting weekend a couple weekends ago. Um, her boyfriend of five years wanted to come up to the farm and he proposed right in the strawberry Aww. patch. Well, so it was quite exciting. You'll have to do a wonderful strawberry wedding cake or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Mary's going to stay with there. Oh, I mean, there's nothing like making memories than going strawberry picking with your kids. I, I do it, I still do it with um, Ireland, and then half the berries don't make it into the bucket. <laughs> yeah, we kind of know that. <laughs> all right, good deal. All right, first of all, we're going to make a, a basic freezer jam, and this is how Mary knows how to do it, let me tell you. So we're going to start with, you've started, you already mashed about three cups. There's about three cups in here, and it's very important when you're making jam, either cooked or the freezer jam, to measure very accurately, because that's what keeps your jam from getting runny. Okay, and so I'm going to also start with this you're water. You're going to start so. with that, and so it's one cup of water. One cup of water that we want to get boiling, right? And we're going to add, yep, that's going to, we don't do we want, have? we have three cups of sugar here. Okay. And we'll just mix that in with your wisp a little bit. You uh, betcha. And this is a one package of Sure Gel. And we're doing the um, lighter recipe. Okay. Loses, uses less sugar. Oh, okay. Good and to know. And then when we get that kind of mixed in a little bit, then we can put it in the water. Okay. This is the... This can go right in here? Yep. And, I, and am I whisking constantly? And how much sugar yes. was this about? It's three cups of sugar, okay. one sugar gel, okay. and a cup of water. Okay, so and let me gonna, get that going. Yep, get that going, and we're going to keep stirring that you until bet. it gets a little thicker and clear. Okay, so I'm going to get to work on that now. Mary okay. says when you do mash these strawberries, you basically, you like to do it like a cup at a, to at a I, time. Not too many at a time. If okay. you want to do more at a time, you're going to want to slice them up a little bit. But if you leave them whole... Um, one cup at a time is plenty. And you use the old potato masher. I use the old potato masher. You can use a blender, but if you use a blender, sometimes they, you get too fine. Okay. And you want chunks in yeah. your jam. You I mean, want to know that you're making jam. strawberry yeah. jam. Yes. Okay, when it comes to, it seems like we all overpick strawberries. Our eyes are bigger, you know, we go out and we pick all these berries and it's like, oh goodness, we got a lot of berries here. How do you freeze strawberries? Um, there's so many ways you can freeze them. A lot of people like to just take them um, whole. They'll put them in zip Block bags. If you do that, wash them lightly and then roll them out in a towel so that moisture is gone or let them sit in your colander for a while. Okay. Put them in a Ziploc bag. That way you can take out, if you want to make a smoothie, you take out what you want. A little want, bit, as a little you bit want. at okay. a time. Okay. Um, otherwise, if you're going to keep them, and those you should use up between three to six months. Okay. Then if you want to um, dice berries, just slice them, mm -hmm. add a little bit of sugar and let that sit a little bit while, and then you can just put them in any kind of little containers. And freeze them just and like freeze that? freeze them like and that. And so that would be great if you need to, you know, have fresh strawberries on top of ice cream or something um, like that. It's yeah. kind of nice sometimes to measure out if you have a favorite recipe, you can measure it oh, out. Yeah. So then when you take that container out, you know exact exactly what you have. Um, if you add sugar, they keep a little bit longer in the freezer. Good tip. Um, but if you don't, the no sugar ones last. I freeze most of mine with no sugar on because I make cooked jam for sale at, at the farm. And that I freeze and it's just fine. How is our pectin in our, is this what we're looking for? Yep, a little bit longer. Okay. And then how long does this freezer jam last? Um, the freezer jam should be eaten up on the thing it says, you know, like sooner, but it, within the next year. Okay. So that's a long time. So you think that's really nice to have. You get that fresh taste of strawberries in the middle of the winter. You and know? it's wonderful for presents, for Christmas yeah, presents. Yeah, absolutely. So we're waiting for yep. this to get. I think we're we're about good. Close okay. Enough. Okay. 
So just thicken up a little bit. And then okay, and we're going to add this you know, off the heat. Well, so you don't. Let's do it like this a little you bit. You bet. Okay, that's easy. So just it really is very a few easy. ingredients. And then we're going to whisk that a little bit more so we mix it all in. Yep, the pectin, the sugar, and those four cups of fresh berries. And then do we um, let it cool? Um, after it's all mixed up and everything that's looking good, that's all you have to do. You can put it into your containers almost immediately, but with the plastic, I like to yes. wait a few minutes. A little bit. Just ladle them and in. Ladle it in. Make sure you leave enough headroom so that it's going to freeze. It's okay. going to go up. Good point. And, and there it is. Yep, and here's the finished one. Label it, put a date on it so you know, so you use it up before the next year. And then if you want to do it for Christmas gifts, um, you should really label them beforehand because once they're frozen, it's hard to put a label on. Good tip. <laughs> All right, and we were going to put Mary's recipe for her freezer jam on our website, but that's easy enough. Wow, I love it. Um, and nothing better than that. Fresh strawberry jam on toast, ooh, or an English muffin. Very good. Now we're